should we be booking profits? This is one of the most common questions many ask me during uh, any kind of uh, investor awareness sessions or when they meet me in person. In general, my answer is yes, especially for assets which are very volatile like small caps, a bit of mid caps and definitely sectoral funds. One of the reasons why many people don't like booking profits is, of course, uh, taxes. I agree, we pay taxes when we realize gains. And that's the reason why most of the investment gurus advise us to keep compounding the money and delay the taxes as much as possible. I don't deny that. But here is my logic behind asking you to book profits in those volatile assets. So whenever I book profits, I ask myself a basic question. At this point in time, should I be looking at saving that 10% or 15% capital gains or should I be looking at saving the entire gain itself? Let me explain that with a simple example of small caps. So all those who invested in the beginning of this year or maybe a year or two before are actually sitting on huge amount of profits in small caps. As per our metrics though, we believe that small caps are now slowly inching towards the overvaluation zone, right? So for example, if you book profits today and assume that you are at a 40% gain, you would pay about 4% as taxes, which is 10% of 40%, which is equal to 4%. So your net gain is 40% that you've gained minus 4% that you've paid as taxes and your net gain works out to 36%. Now let's have a look at the past movement of small caps. Whenever it corrects due to overvaluation, there is a good probability or a possibility that you would lose more than 20%. And this is not something that I'm saying without looking at the past. This is what the past cycles have depicted. In fact, between 2017 and 2020, there were zero returns made, though it went up significantly in between. So if that were to happen, where there's a 20% correction, you will be left out with a net gain of 20% only, 40% minus 20%, and that is equal to 20% in one and a half years. Now the question is, you are making 36% by booking profits versus you don't do anything and earn 20% gains only. What's your choice? Clearly, in cases like these, I'd be happy to book profits and also pay taxes. I know you must be thinking, boss, you're sounding like you know when the market is going to peak and this looks like timing the market. But actually, it is not timing the market, but it is as per an investment framework that we have created using various data from the market like market movement, valuations, interest rates, and relative asset proposition. I'm sure you should also create a framework for profit booking, especially, again, I'm saying especially in assets that are very, very volatile, like small caps, like sectors, like themes. And these three pointers that I'm going to tell you now should help you to create a framework for profit booking. Is the asset overvalued? Is there a bigger, better opportunity to make high returns somewhere else? And can I actually make same or similar returns at much lower risks? These three points can help you to create a framework for profit booking. If you liked what I spoke to you about, please consider following me. Happy investing.